Hey guys, Patrickman79 here. Gonna bring to you today a quick video on uh, my newest uh, Oki uh, charger. This is the second generation. This is the model number PAU35 uh, that I got from Amazon. And I was really looking forward to the second model, but there's something I noticed with the uh, two models that I have. I have the older version, the three uh, USB charger uh, here, the three version. So, uh, uh, this one is the, uh, let's see the model number here, I don't know if I can sh show you guys that on camera, so this is uh, 4.8 amp, so this is the PU30, so I don't know if you guys can tell by the angle, so PAU30 right there on top, so you guys can see that, and the newest model that I have, 3 port USB charger with Auto IQ intelligent charging, so this thing is... Um, the PAU35 there you go you guys can see that and this is a 6 amp charger so 2.4 amps per port so what I have here is my XSTAR VC4 which I love nice little charger and what is powering that right now is my RAF power uh, let me zoom in on that so it's the RAF power uh, charger this charger is um, 24 watts uh, and 2 uh, 2.4 amps per port so 24 watts 2.4 amps per port and let's see how much it's outputting right now so it's outputting 5 amps for 4 18650 pretty normal right the VC4 if you charge 4 18650 it's going to charge um, it's going to charge uh, at 0.5 amps if you take out these two in the middle which is going to be hard to do right now it's going to charge at one amp so right there no problem uh, my only problem is that I first started to use the Oki and I wanted to use my old Oki for charging with the uh, VC4 so let me put that on the sides here so now let's take off the RAF power so let's see if they got any information on there so uh, 24 watts, uh, P, I uh, don't know, UC11, or whatever, so uh, 2.4 amps per port, 24 amps max. Uh, this thing is going to be for charging with my VC4. So now, these that don't don't give you the numbers on the Oki, and <laughs> as well, they, they shouldn't give you the numbers because they might be fake. So let's see which one this one is first. It's going to be harder to see on camera, so... Uh, PAU30 so this is the first generation right so now let's plug it in there and plug it in here so all right I'm gonna start with two 18650 I just received my Sanyo so they're discharged they're at 3.6 uh, volts so I'm gonna charge them so let's see what happens when I put them on the sides where it's charging one amp all right first battery so first battery is at one amp no problem Let's see, second battery. Second battery is dropping to 0.6 amp when you put the second battery in there, right? So this is supposed to be 24 watts, uh, 25 watts or 26 watts, I don't know, but it's around that for three USB port at 2.4 amps per port. So uh, let's see if what happens when I put the, the second, the third, third battery here so this is 0.5 amp per port now uh, I mean 0.5 amp for three now let's see if I add another one let's see if I add a fourth one that thing is dropping to 0.2 amps right there so well 0.3 actually 0 0.3 0 0.4 round around that so you guys can see that so and it dropped even more when I first put it on so uh, which is weird alright so this is supposed to be like the same thing as the RAF power same amount of power so now let's see let's take those 18650s off click click maybe Oki is gonna contact me it's not made to charge that yeah but the RAF power does it so the RAF power does charge it so alright now let's take that off this is the PAU30 so first generation O key let's zoom back out I'm zoomed out alright so let's take out the O key charger 
this is the PAU30 so now let's go with the PAU35 so second generation Oki charger power IQ blah 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 so that now let's start with the two on the each side the 218650 let me zoom back in a little so you guys can see that so first battery one amp no problem right so you can see the voltage for the uh, so this battery is pretty done I mean it's pretty drained so now second battery here yes you can also see the voltage so up to that point oh it's dropping oh oh oh, oh. it's dropping to how much uh, same thing as the other one almost so now so this is the second generation model all right so this is uh, supposed to be the most powerful one out of two so it is 30 amp for uh, 2.4 amps per port so uh, supposed to be a little bit more powerful so now let's see let's pl uh, put the third battery in let's see where it goes it's 0.5 amps, so it's a little bit better, right? I uh, know, I think the other one was 0.52, so let's put the fourth one in. Let's see where it goes. Oh, look at that. It just dropped. So uh, it's not outputting the, uh, the energy that it's supposed to be outputting. Interesting, right? So uh, maybe it's allocating per USB port less power, less wattage than it's advertised. So you can really charge like two or three iPad at a time or, you know, an iPad, an iPhone and stuff like that. It won't charge it at the uh, maximum speed that it could charge it. So, um, you know, okay, bad on you, bad. I'm going to have to watch if I can't return uh, my other okay, my second generation. I might return it because this shit is annoying actually I need a new USB charger I'll look at the RAF power to see if I, I can order another one of these because I need one for my bedroom I need one for uh, my work when, when I go to work just a spare charger and I need one to charge my uh, VC4 here so uh, but that's not gonna be the case so that's gonna be fine for charging maybe my cell phone or my iPad from time to time if I need a backup charger but um, the RAF power wins. So for power, the RAF power wins, uh, which is kind of annoying because I wanted to, the old key to be uh, as powerful to be able to charge my batteries here. Maybe old key will contact me and say, "Hey, it's not made to charge uh, 18650. It's not for chargers for cell phone. Blah blah blah." And you know, it doesn't recognize that. But you know what? The RAF powers get. Uh, I smart technology and it does charge at the uh, maximum rate. I don't know, you guys can see that. Well, let me zoom out here. So yeah, you guys can see I smart and it's uh, you know the two ports got the smart charging technology and it it can charge at a higher wattage, a higher voltage. So uh, I'm thinking that Oki are not entirely honest when it comes to numbers or their making those uh, those uh, you know the, the the fact that they're splitting power in a different way it's not making it so it's charging right so anyways guys I want to share you guys uh, this with my uh, what my newest purchase the Oki charger which I think I'm gonna return um, you know I'm gonna have to do a review on Amazon to to warn people so uh, just to, to make sure if they buy it that they're aware of what they're buying so um, uh, if you guys want to see this review on Amazon, I'll put the link. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'll put the link on Amazon where I bought this charger. And if you guys want to buy this charger, go ahead. But it's not outputting the power that it's supposed to be outputting. So, I don't know how much power it's outputting. But, you know, I'm going to have to do some testing with my uh, my little uh, USB, uh, you know, measuring stuff here. So, I got another one that's a little bit more different. That's, that's telling you a little bit more about power and stuff. So... I'm gonna have to watch, but I'll, I can already see with my charger here that's not putting the power that it's supposed to. So uh, it's not 0.5. It's it's a little different. So uh, kind of annoying. So I'm gonna switch back to my RAF power, and I'm gonna stick with RAF power. I want to buy another thing from Oki, a um, a power pack. That's the newest model that looks interesting. 
uh, it looks like it, it was pretty good they're hyping like Panasonic or uh, Samsung cell quality cells in there and you can charge it at 2 amps instead of 1 amp and uh, it looks all good but if it's the low quality electronics that they're putting on their uh, you know other devices like that so that's just annoying so uh, you know I would stay away guys from Oki uh, depending on what you need it for if you just need it to charge your cell phone or two or three ordinary cell phones small cell phone nothing like an iPhone 6 or maybe even a uh, you know the newest fast charging like uh, the uh, Nexus 6 and Nexus 6 uh, or 6P or whatever so um, uh, you know you should go with something else than uh, than the old key because if you charge two or three of these at a time you might have some issues so hope you guys enjoy this update on uh, I wanted to be a quick video but I can't stop ranting about it so uh, this thing you know the old key is just something I wouldn't buy so uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and I see you guys on the next one